What's going on folks? Adam here with Frieder Prowl. We got the rig here behind me and I apologize for the lack of content on the YouTube channel this summer. It's been a busy summer getting ready for this trip right here. We are up here at milepost zero of the Alaska Highway. We're gonna take the Alaska Highway all the way from milepost zero into Alaska to Kenai, Alaska. I've spent the last four days 2200 miles getting from Wisconsin to this point right here and you guys are coming along for the rest of the trip If you guys are new here free to prowl we like exploring freedom outdoors public land public access hunting fishing along the way uh, That's what free to prowl is all about and uh, hopefully you guys like that and you hit that subscribe button but in reality uh, I had an opportunity to commercially fish with a fisherman He's actually on one of my podcasts. He's a buddy of mine um, I've hunted with his brother, I've come to know him, and we just met through a mutual friend, and he he's a commercial fisherman up here in the summer in Alaska, and I've had the opportunity to become one of his deckhands this year. Was the plan. Don't know if it's gonna happen or not, them coming no matter what, and what that means is, if we don't commercially fish, and you guys don't see any of that, I'm going to fish for fun, and then have a caribou tag in middle of August and we're going all the way up to Prudhoe Bay and we are going to hunt the Arctic Circle for caribou. So got a lot on the plate because of this trip but this video is just going to be exploring the Alaska Highway, truck camping the whole way and you guys are going to come along for the adventure just kind of taking the open road having fun. It's been pretty lax up to this point. Lots of farm fields. North Dakota uh, Northeast Montana and all of Alberta is pretty much farm fields. And I am sick of it. I'm ready to see some mountains. I haven't seen a mountain yet. So let's get to getting Alaska Highway style. Let's go have some fun. So shortly out of Dawson Creek here came to our first point of interest, an old wood bridge. This used to be the original um, Alaska Highway. It's a curved wood bridge, goes over the Kiskanaw River. Don't know that pronunciation on that. I will list it here. But yeah, it's a cool little spot. You can walk out on it. You can't drive out on it, unfortunately. It's just too old. But man, it's a cool little spot. It's just, it's real old. It's just, it looks awesome. It has a guy who grew up in the construction industry, marine construction industry. It's cool. It's pretty sweet. So gonna take some footage of it and uh, maybe some drone shots and get you guys some cool, cool footage. Maybe put it on your uh, point of interest. So About 200 miles north of Dawson Creek. Nah, probably two, probably 300. Um, it's starting to get picturesque. These views are just amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. 
Uh, this is what I drove all of this way for. Um, uh, I'm not saying I'd do without the North Dakotas and the Northeast Montanas and the Albertas, but this is why I drove so far. Um, you know, that whole route from Wisconsin, the reason I didn't show it to you guys, it's pretty much all the same. Farm fields, cattle, and that's about it. So, we're up here driving, enjoying it. It's uh, it's not exactly fast going. Speed limit's about 60, 65. Lots of semi-traffic, steep grades. You're not really pushing it that hard. You can enjoy the views, enjoy the scenery. Um, and just take it all in, honestly. This is British Columbia. This is, uh, this is, this is a, almost the epitome of wild. So we're gonna try and make it to Muncho Lake this evening. Um, supposed to be a pretty awesome campsite or a bunch of campsites around that lake. We're gonna pull in, hopefully in the light, and we got an elk steak from my buddy Shane's Elk from Colorado last year. Gonna grill that up, enjoy some Brussels sprouts, peppers, I don't know, just enjoy an awesome evening by the lake, camping out of the truck, but before we do that, here are some awesome views from British Columbia. first animal in our adventure was this young caribou near Summit Lake. A short way down the highway we ran into our next critter, and a rare one at that, a beautiful ram stone sheep. They are known to hang out along the highway, licking the minerals and salt off the rocks and pavement. With 90s country cranked and singing along, eventually hit the Race and River Valley. Before I hit Muncho Lake, I pulled into Toad River for some fuel. Thirty miles later, I hit the banks of Muncho Lake where this travel day would come to an end and I'd finally get a chance to sit back and relax. So this is camp tonight, Alaskan Highway, right on the banks of Montreal Lake. It's right there. Look at that water, man. Look at that water, it's beautiful. I, uh, I'm opting to kind of camp at one of these pullouts for more of a remote I don't know, I'll just enjoy it by myself. I don't want to pull into one of the campgrounds and have a bunch of generators going, although there is a lodge right here. I can hear their generator, but it's kind of just, you got to make do, right? Um, but beautiful view out on this point. I'll have to deal with a little bit of vehicle traffic tonight. Uh, hopefully traffic slows down at night. It gets kind of dangerous to drive out here at night with all the animals and just hazards in general. So hopefully traffic slows down and we'll uh, 
have a nice peaceful evening right here on the shores of Muncho Lake. I'm gonna get camp set up, get the awning out, and uh, start getting dinner ready. Can't complain about that right there. Seared elk steak, glazed Brussels sprouts, some instant potatoes, you can't go wrong with those. So we're gonna go down to the lake edge, just enjoy this meal, enjoy the view, enjoy Freedom Outdoors. sit in a place like this and I'm 3,000 miles away from home a place I spent the majority of my life and you realize how big the world is and how small we are honestly um, you know I don't know if I'll ever be back here this is one lake on the Alaska highway right this is one lake, one picturesque view, one valley. Plan to do a little hiking tomorrow, but in, my, in your lifetime, it would take you a long time to touch every single one of these peaks, right? Let alone do everything else that I want to do. So I was a big factor of truly becoming free prowl and, you know, quitting a normal job and starting a life that was a little different, trying to live a little differently, sacrificing a lot of things for experiences, honestly. Um, I don't know. It's there's a lot of life to live, but truly we don't have that much time to see all the stuff and do all the stuff we really want to do unless you start while you're young. So The reality is I'm pissing away a retirement, but this is my retirement, right? I'm 34 years old and can still do stuff like this, still have the stamina to drive all that way in uh, four days and get up here and experience something like this. So let alone do the hunting and fishing and all the hard stuff, climbing mountains and backcountry hunting. So I don't know. If I have any advice, get out and get out and do shit, folks. Don't be scared, right? There's always dollars to be made tomorrow or the next day, or the next year. Whatever you can do, whatever you can get away with, go do it. Life is way, way too short. And now, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the scenery the rest of the evening. Camera's probably going away. Crank some tunes, have a couple more beers, and just take in a frickin' beautiful place.